Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, September 25th of 2019. And I just ordered um, the Logitech G Pro X gaming headset with Blue Voice technology. Uh, it'll be here tomorrow. I'll make a video tomorrow as soon as it you know gets here. Um, as you can see, it has three point three stars out of five. That isn't good. Um, I watched there. I weren't there weren't a whole bunch of them. Usually there are. At least I didn't. I just I watched uh, YouTube videos of reviews of the G Pro. X gaming headset on YouTube and the, uh, the guys who did the reviews uh, all did an excellent job of the reviews. Um, they didn't report any microphone problems at all, but let me go down. Well, let me first say about the reviews. Um, a couple of the guys, I think I watched like five or six reviews. And uh, they showed the software, which was really neat. Um, and that's, I'm using a Logitech keyboard, a Logitech mouse, Logitech camera, uh, maybe some other stuff too. Um, by the way, this uh, video is in 2560 by 1080. Uh, I've hooked up my ultra-wide monitor, 25-inch ultra wide monitor and because I wanted some room on my desktop here and I had two monitors before and you know but so and I th I think in the past I know in the past I must have done uh, 2560 by 1080 but I'm going to upload this and see what 2560 by 1080 looks like when I upload it are we going to have you know a black band now, I don't know. I have no idea. I just uh, don't have any idea. Uh, now, back to this headset, which I will get tomorrow, and I'll review it tomorrow. Um, the reviewers, you know, gave the construction of it and everything, and the software. They loved the software. Uh, some of them, see, I don't even use the... Uh, earpieces or whatever I'm interested in the microphone but um, and microphone I've been the headset I've been using is the Sadie's a6 which has worked out for me fine but I just wanted to play with this because of the controls in the software over the uh, microphone and what have you so I'm looking forward to that but uh, the reviewers, they commented that, uh, okay, the 7.1 sound or the surround sound, not that great. It's, they had different, different things about that. Uh, but the microphone, they were, they were happy with the adjustments and those controls they were really impressed with, uh, that type of thing. But here you see on, they're getting... 3.3 .3 out of 5 here on Amazon, uh, the review thing. And when you go down, let me pause here a little bit so you can, let me go ahead and play this. It's only a minute, 58 seconds. Seems like a long minute and 58 seconds.
Anyway. Dual voice microphone technology is a powerful set of effects and processing tools that allows gamers to sound incredible with the Pro X gaming. So I'm going to show you this a little bit. You can pause it yourself if you need to. Um, now the G Pro X, which I ordered, is a hundred and think twenty seven or twenty nine or something. For a hundred, you can get the G Pro. But the G Pro does not come with the cable and a little box which gives you the uh, controls for the microphone and uh, what have you. So, um, can we minimize this a little bit? And so here you get into reviews right away. <laughs> uh, this person says, gives two stars. If you like good positional audio, quickly run the opposite direction. Uh, then five stars, one star, stay away. The headset is probably one of the worst products from Logitech I've ever purchased. The microphone kept making a creaking sound. Then five stars. Okay, now it'll repeat some of these at the top that we just, okay. So skip over... Okay, five stars. Uh, one star dead microphone is a common issue. This person says, do yourself a favor and look up Logitech Pro X mic not working. And uh, here's two stars, five stars, one star mic dead on arrival. And uh, so I hope this... But the reviewers, none of them on YouTube, none of them had any problem with the uh, with the microphone. So anyway, if the microphone doesn't work, I'll just return. I hate returning items, but I love Amazon's you know one day shipping and uh, ease of returning things and that type of stuff. Um, so anyway, this, did I mention, because I just made a video, by the way, which I just made a long video and talked about all this, and um, um, then I didn't have my audio, wasn't working, and... Uh, I hate that. I went ahead and made, you know, so now I can't remember what I, uh, what I even said. So, you know, in the other video. And so now if, if I, uh, but the reason I wanted to upload this was because I want to see what 2560 by 10, oh, that's okay, by 1080. I, as you, rem I w was using two monitors side by side. And I, um, the new season and stuff is starting. So I set up my Roku, small Roku TV set here. And so I had to get rid of one of the monitors. And so I decided to hook this back up, my uh, 2560 by 1080 ultra wide monitor. And now I can't remember <clears throat> what it looks like when I upload 2560 by 1080 to YouTube, so I'm going to find out. Not sure if we're going to have a black band across the top and bottom, or a black band down each side, or, or it's going to be, I don't know. So this is sort of a test. But, um, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get into politics or whatever, but I was really impressed that, uh, the UK Supreme Court ruled 11, you know, they have 11 uh, judges on it, and they unanimously ruled that uh, the prime minister over there uh, exceeded his authority. He did not have the authority, he didn't have the uh, right to go and ask the queen to... Uh, postpone the legislature for 
whatever it was, amount of time. And so I want to get done here because it's about 11.46 a.m. There's a six-hour difference. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I don't even remember. Did I say that? And let me say it again. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's September 25th, and it's 9.47 a.m. in the morning. So I want to uh, go to uh, use Radio Garden, and uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing, if they're going to be actually broadcasting. Uh, let, let's, you know. Anyway, but I want also, this is also a test. So I'm going to upload this. Well, let me show you Radio Garden. I did it in the other video. Um, go to my YouTube stuff. No, my ham radio stuff. Go to Radio Garden. Okay. Okay. Go to... Uh, This is really a great program. That's BBC Radio 1, BBC Radio 2. BBC Radio 3. I imagine it's going to be BBC Radio Extra. Nope. Maybe the World Service? I don't think so. Contempt of Parliament. Now it has been found in contempt of the law. Doesn't he just accept he hasn't got a shred of credibility left? When he was at the bar, he felt that just because he'd given advice that might not have been upheld by a court, he had no credibility. That is an absurd and ridiculous proposition. Furthermore, it was advice that was agreed with by the first instance court in Scotland and by the Lord Chief Justice of England. Is the honourable gentleman calling for his resignation as well? Is he, is he calling for the resignation of the Master of the Rolls? Uh, anyway, I, um, on these headsets, by the way, I, I don't, I never listen to anything through the heads. I'm just using the microphone and this, uh, headset has worked out just fine. I just want to play with this new, uh, and because I have Logitech, I have a Logitech keyboard, the G910. I have the Logitech mouse, the, uh, G, I think it's the 502. I have the Logitech Brio camera. And so I want the Logitech headset. Um, that Radio Garden program is excellent. It's free. Now, if you put it, you can also put it on your cell phone, at least on the Android. I know it works. And I think two ninety five. If you can use it without paying, but I paid two dollars ninety five cents to uh, help support the uh, program. Um, wanted to mention that I, uh, when I was a kid, starting when I was like thirteen or fourteen or whatever, I was, I had I got a shortwave radio and I would listen to international broadcast. That's before the internet, the World Wide Web. Uh, satellite TV and all this type of stuff. So I would listen on shortwave radio. And now, wow, with this radio garden program, you can see the icon here. Um, it's just great. Um, but when I, you know, I used to 
when I was going to high school, I would get up in the morning and I would tune on the shortwave radio and I would actually tune to uh, Australia and be listening to their domestic service, which was on shortwave radio. And then when I would come home and come in the door, Radio Netherlands would be signing on with their broadcast to the United States or to North America in English. I used to listen to the uh, British Broadcasting Corporation all the time, the BBC World Service. Uh, just, and, But now you can just, with this radio garden, travel the entire world and because of the internet and hear all these radio, all these radio stations. Uh, it was fun what I did back then, but that was, I was, I was one of those boys. Now I guess they would be doing gaming or uh, something back then. It was shortwave, for me it was shortwave radio. And I was obsessed with that, and I didn't have any social life. I didn't have, that was what I did. Well, I did others. I was, when I was in high school, I was in the Ground Observer Corps, Civil Defense. Um, other things, weather observer, all that type of stuff. But I didn't do anything at school. Everything was, but uh, now it's really, you know, really neat. I even did a radio program. I recorded it at KMBC Radio and Television. And then it was sent to New York City, to Radio New York Worldwide, WRUL. And it was broadcast to Europe, Africa, and Latin America. Uh, so a lot of fun. But wow, now what... You, what what young people can, well, not just young people, but what people can do now is just amazing with the internet, email, and I pay all my bills and do all that, or do everything online. If, if we lose power, I'm screwed. I wouldn't know how much money I had in the bank. I wouldn't know how to, I wouldn't even know how to pay the electric company or the whatever. And then we got 5G coming. I won't be able to afford a 5G cell phone. But, and I'm happy with the internet service speed that I have. But with 5G, what well, I'm too old and uh, a long time ago when I was blogging, uh, before the World Wide Web, so before 1995 or whatever, I thought, I mean, I was doing a blog, I thought uh, how great it would be like to have a camper. And drive down the highway and just pull into some small town or pull off the road and I could blog about, you know, that, but what I needed was internet service, and now that's going to be, uh, apparently with 5G, hopefully, nationwide, hopefully we're going to get, you know, coverage world, or, you know, worldwide, but uh, uh, that would, I thought that would be neat. Now I'm too old for that, and, you know, I got arthritis, and my heart doctors and well of course I could st st still send the still send the data you know over the cell phone or whatever to the cardiologist but um, yeah this is interesting time some great stuff good and bad by the way a shout out to you know here in the United States we've we've become so divisive politically about 50-50, you know, half of the people this way, half of the people that we have an election, it's, it's always like five or ten, you know, the, and, uh, but now our legislature, our Congress, our House, and our Senate, 
We don't have the statesmen that we used to have. We don't have the people with profiles and courage. Profiles and courage. And, you know, we have three branches of government. The executive branch headed by the president, the legislative branch with the House and the Senate, and the uh, judicial with our Supreme Court. And even our Supreme Court now, you know, there's four conservative members, Republicans on it. And, I mean, the law should be the law, but the decisions seem like they go four, you know. And then the liberal, the Democrats or whatever have three on there. And it's a, decisions are four to three, four to three, and it depends on, you know. And uh, our system is just so divided. Well, over in the U.K., their prime minister, you know, shut down the uh, legislature, told them to, went to the queen and to, asked the queen to, you know, and uh, she, of course, you know, does what the uh, government, you know, tells her to do. She has tremendous authority to do stuff if she wanted, but she's not going, you know, she's going to listen to the government. She's not going to be ruling, you know. So, uh, anyway, he just sent the legislature home. But their Supreme Court just ruled 11. They have 11 on their Supreme Court. We have seven. They have 11 on their Supreme Court and unanimous that he did not have the, that the Prime Minister, you know, was wrong in going to the Queen and not being truthful with the Queen about what he was doing and why he was doing it, and that he didn't have the authority to shut down the legislature. And even even that, they didn't say, you know, uh, reconvene it or whatever. They said, no, uh, it was never legally uh, whatever it, you know, so... Bang, I mean, uh, maybe those 11 judges over there should talk to our seven Supreme Court judges over here and give them a little uh, lecture about, you know, how you make decisions or something. Anyway, I didn't want to get into politics, but I'm going to upload this and see what it looks like in 2560 by 1080 mode. Thank you very much for watching.